Cameraman Campbell. I don't know why I suddenly went into a Batman voice, but that's what we're playing, so let's continue on. Alfred, I'm at the warehouse. No sign of Catwoman's contact. It's Maybe quiet. it's inside the, the warehouse. Of the Stay on guard. Wow, those are really terrible leaves. Um, the guard? Oh. Well. This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. How many? Too many. I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, good lord. Hey, it's Skull Guy. done such a thing. That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon. East side docks, warehouse 133. Oh, God. Okay, that's a grenade. Or a rock. Well. Analyzing. It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Uh, oh. Vile stuff. Joker? Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. Nothing left to bury. exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it but the chemicals themselves were inert not explosive well it appears to have made a pretty big boom i'll see what i can oh, piece back together that movement in the background hmm. mercenaries from last night i've seen these outfits before same mercs that oh my god okay hall. this is much better this is basically just episode three of Wolf Among Us. The canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. Uh, it, it doesn't protect me against bullets either. Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? Okay, canisters. All right, let's just open this up. I'm oh, hitting X. Damn. Looks like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry's melted. Firefly. The scrap of metal is from the exploded canister. But I need to know what caused the explosion. Uh, white rose. White rose. Falcone's calling card. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. Yeah, good, good, good job tampering with evidence. Oh, hey. No. That bad? Uh, hey. Shoot him. Face slashed. Throat torn open. 
so. Not natural causes, then. Skylight Club. This man's been badly burned. But the damage seems to originate from inside his skull. What did this? Sensors say it's an incendiary route. Well, phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister, causing the aforementioned boom. Blood, broken nails, bits of human flesh. Shredded this murk to pieces. Oh. Barehanded. God. What would cause someone to do that? The nerve agent could make them psychotic. Okay. Like that. Uh, wait, where's my other one? Find a connection. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at a local gun store. It appears military. Okay. It's a cop. The Good job, Captain Obvious. Oh. Something was here when the explosion occurred. Okay, okay. What would be that? Someone drove off after the explosion. Have you put it together? Yes. Oh, cool. Because I was just randomly connecting shit. Falcone leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. His snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop huh. the theft. Falcone's men gunned him down. Then things turned grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. And was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted cool. and escaped. Ah, oh, man, this is much more satisfying. No, but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there. 
and would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. Maybe it was more than one shooter. Trace of phosphorus, though. Uh, I mean, really, the only place. Of, yeah. Hey, we got a winner. for a spike clear vantage point we have a winner oh who would leave a cigarette behind killing time uh lip oh my god oh my god that's dna right there this is the right spot. So where did he go? The window? Trace stops here. Then he should be nearby. Found him. Time to go to work. Unless he's dead. Add your corpse to this graveyard. Balcone, why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing. <laughs> you, you can't make me talk. <laughs> I ain't telling you, Jack. <laughs> you trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break. Your bones will. Dude, whoa. It's true what they said about you. You're a freaking animal. Give me a reason to stop. You know, you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. Mm. All on the inside. Tell me the plan. Or I start swinging. Tell me! The cab woman was supposed to hand over a drive, had the container number we needed, but she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Uh, container by container! Someone must have heard us call the cops. We were told no witnesses. Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. <laughs> Malconi wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. <laughs> I start here and keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals are some kind of explosive, a weapon. I don't know. Balcone said he'd use him soon. Used? Where? That's all I know. I swear, I swear. Wayne Manor? I told you everything I know. You're in... You'll never hold a gun steady again. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. These are cops. Get an ambulance in here. I think I need to call the coroner instead. <laughs> I kind of wish I had more time to... I was wrong. I'm gonna need that ambulance, too. What the hell's going on tonight, Lieutenant? Batman. Ha! <laughs> huh. 
You're taking this too far, Bruce. He was a cop killer. I mean, come on. I actually didn't mean to. You assume the persona of a arm. bat, but you're not an animal. You nearly killed a man tonight. Eh. Your parents didn't raise you this way. Uh. And neither did I. <coughs> He's still alive. <coughs> God damn it. And in the hospital. <coughs> <sighs> Next time it might be the morgue. Yeah. <sighs> Especially now during this preposterous attack on your family. You must show the world the true nature of a Wayne. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you <coughs> see this cave. God damn. I apologize for those sneezes. You're a good man, Bruce. Good. Just like your parents. Don't And when I that. died, they became... I don't well, mean one of to be did. a doddering old fool on the subject, but as a friend, the burden of advice falls on me. Sometimes this job requires hard decisions. You're the right man to make them. In fact, I think you're the only one who can. You bury the person, Bruce, but you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. What? 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 That night, that alleyway, it made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. He's monk. Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores or drown you in its sorrow. When you doubt your fate, remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. I won't forget. Neither will I. Yay! Good job, back computer. Well, back into the fray again. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's almost a good way of keeping that. Oh, looks track. like that egg finally cracked. And inside, Mayor Hill was hiding more than I could have imagined. This is a complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. What in the world was Hill doing with all this? Uh, working with him? Illegal arms dealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering? Falcone's been involved in everything. But it goes back years. This is an insurance policy. Hill could expose Falcone if he didn't play along. That would explain why he's never made a move against him. Sure as hell better than any bodyguard. This is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Uh. Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Lieutenant Gordon. He could mobilize the entire police force against Falcone. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Vicky. Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Ooh. Or Ooh. who you think could do the most good. Ooh. Okay, alright. Decision time. And luckily I'm not being timed. Okay. Yeah, Gordon would be the good way of going through, but... Man, Vicky, that... She could definitely spread the word quicker. And it would, like, just untie all the Wayne family problems. At the same time, it feels like it would be real risks. Right, did the same thing with Gordon, and Gordon's not exactly happy with uh, Batman's time. Shit, I kind of want to go with Vicky Vale. Vicky showed faith in me. She cares about the truth. 
She'll get the story out the way it needs to be told. A wise decision, sir. We'll attack Falcone on two fronts tonight. Vicky through the media, and Batman... By any means necessary. Whatever Falcone is planning, it ends tonight. He's a spider, Bruce. Eyes everywhere. Is he a a dense web of goons poised to trap you. No one has ever managed to bring him down. I haven't tried yet. All right, all right. And time to pause as soon as it is loaded because it's about that time. There we go. All right. See you all in the next one, folks.